What it is, what it do, cyber world, it is your girl, the one and only Ash Said It, ashsaidit.com, ashsaidit.com. Welcome back to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. We appreciate all your love, all your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, we're on the heels. We're on the brink of half a million streams worldwide. Couldn't be any more proud of that. Today, I am joined by Dr. Darkova Matrice. Hi, Dr. Darkova. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? I am amazing. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. All right, so Darkova, first off, let's start with, with the name. Where does the name Darkova come from? Okay, okay, good question. So, around 1974, there was an infamous car called the Cordova car. Mm. Um, for some reason, my mom loved the car. <laughs> my sister, who is Dwisa Michelle, um, proceeded, uh, ushered in the, everybody has the same initial um, thing, and so my mom switched the letters around to make that Cordova Darkova. I like that. That's Ta-da. definitely unique. Get it. Get it. Yes. <laughs> All right. And where are you from? Where do you represent? I am originally from Atlanta, so I'm one of those original Georgia peaches that mm-hmm. people never meet. I'm, I'm her. Um, I am a product of the Atlanta public school system. I went to John Wesley Dobbs Elementary School and Fulton High School. Okay, cool. All in Atlanta. All in the ATL represented. That's why you so fly. See that? that that's okay. it. Hey, <laughs> exactly. It has all come full circle. It has come <laughs> full circle. So let's talk about the inspiration behind this book, Fly. Mm. Fly. Okay, so many people who know me can put Darkova and Strut together. Mm. A few years back, I started a movement called the Strut Movement, where we created events that centered around empowering women to walk in their purpose with confidence, competence, and conviction. Mm. Well, Strut was birthed from a position where my ex-husband, soon to be, um, told me that I needed to get out of his business, stop worrying about what he's doing, find wow. something to do for myself. Um, and so my what I realized now, the healing, my healing process from that was to feed into other women and essentially pull pull from their strength, mm. their strength, their confidence, all the positive energy that they were exuding. Um, I pulled from that in order to push me through <laughs> 17 years mm. of 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 let's call it a marriage mm-hmm. and um once i gained the strength and the courage to walk away from all things that were dysfunctional about that i sat down um i was actually sitting down in my mom's living room because i walked away from las vegas i quit my job um my older two daughters decided that they wanted to stay with their dad and they weren't coming with me um, I had a suitcase and I had my baby and I sat down in my mom's living room and I just started writing these poems and these poems, these words, um, gave me the, the, the option, the gumption to go ahead and remember who I am and remember whose I am and mm-hmm. remember all that I represent, um, to go ahead and understand that once the strut is complete, then you fly. Wow. Ooh. And so that, that's that's how we got. I said all that. I went all around and said, <laughs> yeah, that's how we got this collection of poetry, fly. Yes. It is actually um, 21, I call it 21 masterpieces that remind us of our flyness. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So when you were writing down these poems and you were collecting this work, did you have the idea that you wanted to put it out as a project or was it something more like you were like just journaling about your experiences? Oh, yeah, definitely. It had to be a project. Um, like I say, I 
my background is in education. I have 20-something years of education. I graduated from Morris Brown College. Um, shout out to the Wolverines um, with a bachelor's degree in early childhood education. So I've always taught. Um, when I quit January 2017 and left that job, I could not even give myself an opportunity, um, like not work, not make money. That that just didn't even resonate with me. So I was constantly um, thinking, I got to make some money. I got to do something. I got to use all these gifts and all these talents that I keep talking about. I got to have some money, you know, coming in. Yeah. And so, yes, I knew I needed to do something. I created, like, some T-shirt, has T-shirt line, fly hair, don't care, um, mm -hmm. put on a couple of women's empowerment events. And then, um, yes, when I sat down and I was writing these poems, I was like, okay, this is the book I wrote. I put it all together one day. I put it through wow. my um, dad's laptop. And I just typed all day long. Wow. And then at the end, my dad was like, what are you doing? I said, I'm, putting a, I'm writing a book. Mm. And, you know, my family, they say, okay, what's Matrice doing now? So he kind of like, okay, she's writing a book. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, at the end of the day, I had this product. And I said, um, okay, we're going to make this work for me. All right, so we're going to take a brief break. When we come back, we're going to talk more with Dr. Darkova Matrice, and we're going to find out a little bit more of this writing process and publishing and self-publishing and all this other good stuff. So you guys stay tuned. Wouldn't it be great if there was a place to discover awesome discounts on gently used clothes? There is. Swap.com, the world's largest online consignment and thrift store. Over 14 million tons of textiles are wasted each year. Shopping secondhand, Swap.com helps prevent textile waste from polluting the environment. With Swap.com, you can save up to 90% off retail price of your favorite brands like Lululemon, Carter's, Nike, J. Crew, and Gap. Between six to 10,000 new items are added daily. If something doesn't fit, enjoy hassle-free returns within 30 days, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Shop Swap.com and use the promo code ASHDAILY40 for your 40% off today. Welcome back to the Ash Said It Daily podcast show. I'm your host, Ash Brown, and we are talking with Dr. Darkova Matrice about this fly book, this collection of poems set for empowerment, helping bring her out of a difficult situation, but ultimately her spreading her wings to fly, fly high, uh -huh. soaring uh -huh. high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the way you said that. I love it. Oh. Yeah. So, Dr. Darkova. Was this your very first book project? No. I have published some, a few collections of poetry, my first, um, back in 2005. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, I think I've published maybe about four or five books by now. Gotcha, gotcha. But this one, would you say this one is the closest to your heart? Oh, yeah. This one, this one is different because... Um, as a poet, with the other pieces, with the other books that I published, I really thought about um, how people would view it, how people would receive it. Um, whereas this time, I just wrote, I just wrote, and it's like either you like it or you don't. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, well, actually, it's either you like it or you like it because mm -hmm. <laughs> you read it and it, it has kind of an, an edgy tone to it. Mm -hmm. um, there's one piece I wrote that's called. It ain't arrogance when it's the truth. Mm. And, um, yeah, so it kind of comes off as, mm, who she thinks she is. <laughs> and, um, and, and, I mean, essentially I've had to accept, yeah, I, I, I know who I am. Thank right. you, period. Mm -hmm. You know? And you don't, I don't have to try to, um, dim my light or try to, you know, step yeah. back so that someone else, um, feels like he's the man. Mm -hmm. You know, I get to I get to just be me, and and you get to glow. You know, you can't create your own shine. Then you probably want to put on some shades or mm -hmm. something. But um, <laughs> I still get to I still get to be me and and own me with all of my extraness and all of the flamboyance and all of the dot 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 dark hope. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, for women that may be in a similar situation that you were facing early on this year, what 
mm-hmm. advice would you want to put out there for them? Um, my advice is to listen to your intuition, trust her, make a decision, and follow through. Mm. It will not be easy. And somebody had to tell me this. It will not be easy. You're going to have um, many days where you're crying um, because, yeah, I, I when I got married, I intended to be married for ever. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I realized it wasn't, you know, quite how I'd imagined it to be sooner than when I filed for a divorce, mm-hmm. um, I didn't. I didn't act. I didn't act on it because I was waiting for um, waiting for it to get better. Yeah. Waiting for things to change. Um, I know there are probably some people who are listening today who don't even know that I filed for a divorce mm-hmm. um, because I've done an excellent job of protecting the marriage, protecting his image. Um, and the truth be told, everybody in my family was happy but me. Mm. Um, so, so yes, if you're in that now, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm on, I believe in God. I love Jesus. Mm. I believe God, Jesus died for my sins. Um, but I also know that he did not, um, he does not intend for me to live in a situation where I'm completely miserable. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. not, it's not okay. So if, if that's your situation, have that heart to heart with yourself because can't nobody tell you. Mm. Can't nobody tell you it's time to go. Can't nobody tell you to stay. You have to, um, make your decision and you have to own that. Because in my situation, what should have been, in my mind, um, a real easy divorce, um, mm-hmm. we, we own no property together, property together, um, we had no assets together, we didn't have bank account together. So when I said, I'll pay for the divorce, it's over. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it has turned into a custody battle now. And it's a custody battle where if anybody had seen my three daughters and I together, I have three daughters. Isis, who is 16, Macy, 14, and Paris is 11. Anybody has seen us, I mean, they were always with me at my strut events. I created Brains and Beauty mentoring program for girls, for my girls, because I never could afford to put them in all those programs because, you know, I had three girls. So I said, hey, I'll do it myself. Um... My girls were always with me. We always did family things together. I was always supporting them. So um, to be in a position now where I haven't talked to my older two daughters since September. Mm-hmm. And then when I talked to them, it was like, ooh, we shouldn't have talked. Um, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm proud that they're so assertive. and proud that they are so aggressive. But the fact is um, they've been brainwashed mm-hmm. to believe that um, that the situation was not as bad as it was. Mm. And so, um, yeah, that hurts. I cry every day. Mm. Every I wake up I wake up in tears. Mm. Um and in that I also know that and I told them when um before I left Las Vegas, I told them if I didn't have enough strength to leave right now for myself at this point, I have to do it for them because one day they're going to have boyfriends mm-hmm. and they're going to have husbands and they need to know they get to be the only one, yes. period. And if they can't remember anything, if they don't get anything else out of this, I want them to be in a healthy relationship where they know. Now, if they choose something different, hey, that people mm-hmm. make choices. But they won't be able to say that they watch their mother compromise herself yeah. in a marriage absolutely. absolutely so yeah make the decision and 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 for me I'm, I'm a talker talk therapy has helped me through this every day so every day I wake up crying I talk myself I use these affirmations I mm-hmm. read my own book over and over and over um and then I talk to people I talk to people who I know will only have positive things to say to me yes at this point, if you don't have anything positive to say, we really can't talk. Exactly. I can't take it, yeah. you know, right now. I'm on the same boat Maybe with you. later. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. right now, I can't take any any type of energy that's not positive. Yes. Um, the tolerance level is at zero. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, hey. And again, like I said, I, I kind of brushed over it. But, yeah, I read, I read these poems, these 21 poems every day. 
because I promise you, when you read them the first time, they're they're really short, they're really simple, but like profound. Mm-hmm. You kind of read it and you be like, oh, did did those words just say that? Let me go back and read it again. And then you read it again, you're like, oh yeah, I got this. Mm-hmm. And you kind of hold your head up, hold your chin up, push shoulders back, and then you kind of walk with that strut that we already have mastered. Yes. And then you kind of you just gotta just gotta go handle business. That's right. That's absolutely right. And I just want to say to you, I mean, I tip my hat to you. I mean, that's a that's a difficult situation to be in. But for you to take charge, that shows your strength, right. strength that you probably didn't right. even realize that you had. To, oh, right. To yeah. Be able to, uh, yeah, I'm sure. I, yeah. I mean, I'm that person. I, and I tell everybody, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Yes. We don't have, we shouldn't have to argue or fight about anything. Mm-hmm. Um, what, else, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? You want all three girls to stay with you during the school year? Fine. Even though I'm the educator. Mm-hmm. That's fine because I, I realize that they have to stay in one place with one parent, yeah. you know, for a certain amount of time. So, yeah, yeah, they can do that. Um, what else? Uh, you want child support? Fine. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was told, uh, you know, I want child support. I want full custody. He wants full custody of the girls and child support. And so in my mind, I know that, you know, I, I can, I'm going to support my daughters financially, yeah. but it's like, the, like the way you just tied that together don't even mm-hmm. sound like, mm-hmm. you know, so, mm-hmm. um, but you know, so like yeah, that, I get to go through yeah, this I, divorce process, which is like, wow. I'm like, shouldn't this be over by now? I talked mm-hmm. to my attorney, I'm like, shouldn't this be over? She's like, no, when you got to file this, I got to mm-hmm. pay some more money to file this and pay some more money to file this. I'm like, oh, girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, girl, that's too much money. But you know what? Every storm runs out of rain. Yeah. All right. Trouble don't yes. last always. And joy does come in the morning. Yes. Okay. Right. And I'm I know all of that, like, weeping and doing for now. I know, and mm-hmm. I appreciate my, my, my growing up at Greater Moses Chapel Baptist Church, going to Sunday school. You know, I have the word. I know it. But it's a different thing when you got to actually walk in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I have it, and it's in my heart, and I can say it over and over and over and over, you know, but I, I do understand that scripture also that says um, that I get to think like God thinks. I get to renew my mind mm-hmm. over and over. It's like every minute, Absolutely. renew my mind. Dr. Dark the way that people think. <laughs> Yes. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Darkova. Um, let everybody know the best way to get in contact with you and, of course, to pick up this book. Yes. So everybody who knows me knows that I love Facebook. So that's like the first point of contact. Mm-hmm. Just find me on Facebook, Darkova Matrice. If you want to send me an email, I haven't changed my Gmail because, you know, we're still going through. So it's Darkova triplet at gmail.com. Um, you can purchase the book online at Amazon.com. It is Fly, F-L-Y-Y-Y-Y. That's four Ys because at some point I just kept saying, why, 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 why is this happening to me? And then I realize now that my why um, gets to be myself and my three daughters. Mm. So that's why we have the four Ys. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Get the book, Amazon.com. Let me know what you think. Definitely. And thank you so much for everybody that's been downloading the show, has been sharing it across social media. We appreciate you so very much. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face and tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the history. That's right. Watch me fly. All right. (laughs) Social media is nice. But real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.